Time for the word on Wall Street. Top investors watching your money. Joining me right now is Michael Lee, strategy founder, Michael Lee, and Stone and uh, Stone X, chief market strategist, Catherine Rooney Vera. Catherine, great. What energy is going to do, Mike? It, it was certainly one of the best performers last year and the year before, but this morning we've got Goldman Sachs cutting its outlook on oil prices. Uh, on Brent, they cut it to an average of $86 a barrel by the end of the year. Instead of $95, oil prices, of course, pulling back this morning, partly on this report. Brent is down almost 2 percent at 73.42. Crude oil is down better than 2 percent right now at 68.64. Mike, your reaction? Yeah, um, so the OPEC is out there talking about how they want to stabilize the market and remove uncertainties from their policy and their production going forward. Um, you know, the, the market in, in, uh, likes that in terms of the price of oil is selling off. Uh, however, um, one thing that needs to be considered with the price of oil is the massive amount that the Biden administration has released from the Strategic Petroleum Oil Reserve. Uh, it's over 300 million barrels over the last 12 months, and it seems every time we have a spike, uh, it's met with a supply influx from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. So that, uh, which has historically only been used in horrific times of crisis, is a national security feature, has been used to combat the high price of oil rather than reversing policy. Um, I, I think uh, there's a great deal of short interest in oil right now based on the recession fears that Catherine was just talking about with demand waning. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see further additional cuts from OPEC Plus, despite this, uh, despite this announcement, um, but I, I think the global macroeconomic activity is what's going to guide uh, the price of oil going forward versus, say, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve or yeah. decisions made by OPEC. I'm sure those will make moves in the in the short term and will create trading opportunities. But I, I think the price of oil is either going to stabilize or trend lower as we saw the eurozone enter recession, and I, I believe we'll enter one here at some point. Uh, within the next year. Yeah, I think you make the right point, and that is oil prices typically track the level of economic growth. And if you've got slower growth, recession, as you're talking about, you're going to see lower oil prices just from the demand supply dynamic. So when you're looking at investing in energy, then, Michael, what does that mean? If you've got lower oil prices, do you want to ease up on buying oil stocks? They were the number one performer two years ago and last year among the best as well. Yeah, uh, Maria, because something miraculous has happened uh, in, with oil stocks and the price of oil. Historically, uh, it's been my experience that the price of oil goes down 10 percent, the oil stocks are down 20, the price of oil goes up 10 percent, the oil stocks are up too. So a really, you know, poor investments, poor relationship overall uh, to the price to the price of oil. Okay, that has turned on its head because the major oil companies have decided to be much more shareholder friendly and do much less investing uh, in in um, overall pipelines and, and technology, and they're solely focused on returning capital to shareholders. So if you want to own Occidental Petroleum, like Warren Buffett, who has a massive stake, or Exxon or Chevron, I think those stocks continue to do very well based on all the cash they've been able to accumulate and their desire to return capital to shareholders and be much more shareholder-friendly companies versus make long-term investments. Okay. Well, they've got those dividends as well, which is good. Michael, good to see you. Catherine, always a pleasure. Michael Lee, Catherine, Rooney, Vera, have a great day, guys. Thank you. Quick break, and Thank then you.